Whoa, big question here. Maybe I'll have to think about that one and come back to you in the future because that's, that's a big question, man. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? It's your boy, Peely9, and welcome to my Q&A. Hopefully your question is going to be featured in today's Q&A and we'll get to the bottom of some of these questions. First question, Michael Elias. If there was no such thing as football, would we all just be frustrated footballers? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. We'd just be people without football. Now, if there was no such thing as football, we wouldn't know what we was missing unless it was already a thing and then disappeared. I suppose that's all I can say for that. At least we'd still have golf, eh? Jack Smart. What do you think the strongest and weakest part of your golf game are and what are your ambitions for golf in the next 12 months? Strongest and weakest part of your golf game, for me, it's my mentality. Thinking I'm really good at something can play a favour, but I might actually not be that good and I might overcompensate for that. So I might think I'm really good from 50 yards in, which I do think I am. Where I should be getting within 10 to 5 feet, maybe I'm only getting it within 20 feet or 15 feet. Mentality plays a part for me. I like to dissect my swing and I want to improve, which is a really strong part of my game, wanting to improve, not just wanting to go and play golf and enjoy it, but actually get better and score better scores and, and hit better shots. And what are your ambitions for golf in the next 12 months? So I want to get back to the form I was in, but also improve on that. Next 12 months, I'd like to get down to like maybe a 12 and I want to hit like single figure scores more than once in a blue moon i want to hit them a bit more frequently the next part of my ambition is to play more courses and nicer courses back with another michael elias question and i'm going to actually keep this one short and sweet i'm mixed race i'm quarter trinidadian my mum's mixed my granddad's from trinidad he come over when he was nine years old and his dad was already here so those was both part of the windrush generation it's a subject that's close to my heart. I believe in e equality and I believe all humans are the same. You get wrong in the world and you get good people in the world. And if you know what right is right and wrong is wrong, that's all that should matter. Black Lives Matter. I just hope the media don't keep focusing on the negative within Black Lives Matter, like the really small minority, the looters. That kind of media attention fuels fire. I just hope people out there can educate themselves and as we get on in the future, maybe not in our lifetime, but as we keep moving forward, we will see changes. Quite a vague answer from myself, but I have touched on this uh, topic with the tune I'm Not Racist. That was a granddad's react. So two different generational views. So I think that's a really good video if you want to watch that. And another video is the little baby tune that he just brought out and, and I've, I have a little rant on that as well so yeah if you want to see my deeper views then go and look at them let's try and keep this fun hearted but also at the same time it's an important movement Carlos 2 or Tui fave Oz artist oh, I would say chilling it so it is tight between JM's and chilling it Mohammed Minim do you prefer cats or dogs as a pet and why? The last dog I had was a blue Staffordshire Bull Terrier. I'll pop up a picture like here, maybe. And and she was my baby, Tia. And unfortunately, we had to put her down a couple of years back because she had cancer. I, I would say just because of my experience with my recent dog and how attached I was with, with her, I, I would say dogs. And they're just a bit more compassionate. First of all, love your channel, bro. I was gonna ask, do you have any Samoan friends apart from me? Lol, and also what advice would you have for someone looking to get into YouTube and doing reactions like yourself? I don't have any other Samoan friends. I do have a Filipino friend um, called Rex, a shout out to Rex. Advice into getting into YouTube and reactions. So my first advice would be, be yourself. That's it, man. Get in front of the camera, have a little bit of confidence. Just do a couple videos to see how you are in front of the camera. And, and it's just about progress, man. In terms of reactions, be genuine with them. I know there's a lot of fake reactors on here, uh, on the platform. That's the way of the world. So be genuine and people will see that. Try and react to what people want. Be open-minded. Be willing to listen to other music that you've never ever listened to before. Get a camera, get a mic, 
download OBS, you've learned how to use OBS software and you should be set to go. So far, what do you think about the Italian rap scene? So that's from Alessi Oli. Yeah, man, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying learning the culture. At first, I was like, wow, like this is completely different. I'm never going to understand any of the lyrics. Is there any point of me reacting to this kind of music? But then as I've got into more and more Italian music rap, you realize that it, there's more than one layer to Italian rap and I'm enjoying it so far. It seems like it's thriving. There's a lot of collabs happening at the moment, it's like the H Shiva collab and then also with the American artists. So shout out to the Italian rap scene. Why does glue not stick to the inside of a bottle? I await your answer. I don't know. I, I'm guessing they put something in the formula. So when it hits the oxygen, it reacts and that's when it becomes sticky or, or glue. Shout out to Stu for the question. You need to react to Zero Views rap music. Shout out to the guy that commented this. I do not know how to pronounce your name. I'm going to have a live stream coming up very soon where I'm reacting to your music and reacting to unknown artists. So you can request whatever artist. Benjamin Curtis. Where do you rank Oz music compared to UK and other countries? I mean, I'm biased to the UK scene. Like That being said, Oz music is really good. I, I, I can't put a ranking on it. I can't say Australia is better than America or Italy. Everyone's got their own scenes and everyone's thriving in their own community. But where Australia are now, they are setting the foundations to, to have a real, real big scene within the next five, 10 years. Alex with about 100 X's. <laughs> Do you go to the gym or do any kind of exercise? You look in good shape, bro. Thank you. Um, yeah, man, I do go gym. I've been gymming since I was 14. I'm 25 now. A little story. We might as well give it. It's a Q&A, right? So let me go into a little story. I started gym when I was 14 with a friend, a local gymnast. It's a 10-minute bus ride. Obviously, at 14, couldn't drive. So we used to trek there, go to gym. Did not know what we was doing. There was a separate weight room, which I, was just, I wanted to go into. I don't think my friend was too keen. He was more on the, the cardio stuff because he was a, like, a fantastic footballer. I would do a couple of machines, then do some cardio, then go into the weight room and just, it was a real mess. At the age of 15, I then changed gym to a gym that I stayed in at a very long time, about four or five years. And that's where I learned all my gym knowledge. I didn't really actually start understanding the food side of gym until I was like maybe 17, 18. So for the first four years of gym, I was eating like I'd come back from training, have a protein shake and have one chicken breast, like non-seasoned, had no carbs at all, minimal amount of protein really. And then I come off gym a little bit, like I was still still a gym member, but for about a year and I just blew up. I started eating everything I wanted. I went from eating literally nothing to eating everything I wanted. And that's when I decided I need to get back into gym. Signed up to a gym called Origin, been there about five years now. And I train with one of my good friends and he is massive, he's much bigger than me. He gives me the motivation to get bigger every day. Michael Elias again, uh, fire for dinner, dead or alive, who are you picking? Wow. Maybe I'll have to think about that one and come back to you in the future because that's, that's a big question, man. <laughs> my apologies, bad cop out. Kane Smerald, do you think aliens built the pyramids? Why not, man? Salas or Salas? Salase. Why don't you react to popular slash interesting songs? I don't do a lot of American stuff, if that's what you're referring to. I've done a couple of BTS tunes. They're massive. Sorry if I'm not doing any tunes that you want. Keep requesting and hopefully I'll get back to you. Aika Johnny, are you studying at the moment or are you working? No, I'm finished with my studying. I have a degree in accounting and finance, and now I'm working in like the IT industry slash consultancy. Ryan Hassan, would you ever learn Italian? I would love to. I really would, but I just haven't got the patience. For me, I've, I've always struggled with, with languages. I would like to, but probably not. Tom Winton, hey, mate, big fan. Been here since 1.7K subscribers. Big up you. My question is, what are your favorite trainers and why? If we're talking about specific trainer, the 98 Supreme. And if we're talking about silhouettes, the 97. Just because growing up, 97s was, was always a shoe that I wanted to get hold of. And they were so hard to get hold of. Murray Baird. Who's the hardest in the UK rap right now? I'd say Pot of Paper. I know he's just only been free, but he's my favorite, man. When's Potter home, son? Well, he's, he's fresh home. 
Alessandro Fusco, who's your favorite Italian artist? Yeah, I've been asked this question quite a lot and for me, it's very hard to pick one. There are loads that I'm enjoying right now. Safira Abastia is obviously very good. The Supreme, I just reacted to the Supreme. Real different vibe. Luis Umni, yo bro, I've got two questions. What do you do outside of YouTube and when are you going to react to more Capo Plaza? Yeah, man, I pretty much covered most of it in my videos. I play golf, I work, I also gym, football. I watch football more than I play football nowadays. When are you going to react to more Capo Plaza? Yeah, soon, man. Soon. Definitely soon. Capo Plaza, actually one of my favourites as well. Whoa, big question here. So, um, apologies if I'm looking left to read this. My question is, will you ever make videos to deepen the HH culture of the various countries to which you react to songs? Because I believe that the beauty of rap music is to understand it and understand the roots of what it transmits. And in particular, Italy, this shit has taken hold since the distance of 86. Great question. I probably won't make videos to deepen the culture. I'll, I'll, I'll learn it in my own time and as I'm listening to more rap music, I think that's something that you just start to gain. But I also believe that's on the viewer to learn as well. And that's also a big responsibility of the artist. If you're a new artist, you're not just here to reap the benefits of the scene that's been built before you. You should be portraying and feeding information to the watchers, to the new fan base, what the culture was, who the people were that come, come before you and why they come before you. But yeah, it's down to the new artists to push the culture and it's down to the viewers to go and learn the culture. And that's the beauty of rap, discovering more and more and more. So shout out to you, Zavigo. Another question from Zavigo. Bro, I am Italian, I like your, so much your reaction, but what is your purpose with this channel in the long run? However, big up for you, man, and big up to you too. And they're two great questions. The purpose of this channel in the long run? Well, if you've looked at my stats, I've had this channel since 2006. This is my personal cha channel. I don't know where I'm going in the future, and I think that's the beauty of YouTube. There's a plan, but the plan doesn't have to be stuck to. It's sort of like, it's what the viewers want. Reactions is just something that I'm really enjoying at the moment and that's why I started doing reactions. Hopefully I can start going into more of like reviewing tunes, maybe a bit like Fantano, but also bringing other stuff, some gym stuff, some golf stuff, some life stuff, some more Q&A stuff like this. I don't know if there's a purpose, but there's definitely gold. Zach O'Shea, been following since day dot, big fan, so shout out to you Zach. My question is, who is your all-time hero and why? Well, that's uh, that's a crazy question. All-time hero, I don't know. My hero always changes. It would be a little bit cliche to say, oh, my mum or my dad's my all-time hero, so I'm gonna avoid saying that. In terms of sports stars, it changes. Growing up as a West Ham fan, Paolo Di Canio was a hero of mine. Tevez was a hero of mine. In the golfing world, Tiger Woods, obviously. Rory McIlroy. All-time hero, I, I don't have one but there are definitely a lot of sports stars and, and uh, that I look up to in, in all sport. I am Squeaker. What kind of American rappers are you into outside of what you've reacted to? Also, who are some of your favorite YouTubers slash reaction? American rappers, I've got to be honest, I don't really listen to American rap that much. Growing up, I've listened to quite a bit, but on my Spotify playlist, you won't see any American rappers. Next year, I might, all I might be bumping is American music. Obviously, the likes of Drake. Meek Mill is someone that I've really enjoyed. Uh, Rick Ross. Big L is someone that I, I like listening to the old school Jay-Z stuff. Nas. So, yeah, there's not anyone too specific, but I've listened to a lot, man. Second part of the question, who are your favourite YouTubers slash reactors? I mean, in terms of favourite YouTubers, I think the YouTubing world and how much content is on YouTube is so great. Like, it's unbelievable. I can watch a, a YouTuber that I've never ever watched before and just come across it in suggesteds or, or whatever, however I find them, and enjoy a video. There's not really a favorite YouTuber, but there's a lot of YouTubers that I, f that I think are great. KSI has smashed it, and he's a guy that I look to as a YouTuber who's who's gone through so many different th things, smashed each goal that he's reached. So in terms of goal setting and goal smashing, KSI is someone that I look, look up to. Reactors wise, Too Blunt TV was like one of the first to do grime music or UK music that I see anyway. You usually, for me, I get a song that I like and then I watch various different reactors whether I've seen them before or not. But someone that actually 
that you may not know or you may know is a guy called Strange Million. I was watching his YouTube channel at the start of isolation, I think, maybe a bit before, maybe a bit after. For some reason, the way he was in front of the camera, the way he was so real, but so prepared to be himself and just talk and just give his honest reaction on videos was one of the reasons that I thought, I'm gonna do reaction videos. Shout out to Strange Millions. I've hit him up a couple of times and he's a great guy. Next question, Luca. My question is, would you rather spend a year without listening to music or watching football? Easy one for me. I'd spend a year without watching football. I could still play it. I could still play golf. I could still watch golf. Plus West Ham are gonna go down soon. So uh, <laughs> I'll probably spend next year not watching football anyway. Felipe Manny, shout out to you. Can you talk about a bit about what you do in life and some of your life goals? Uh, much appreciate your content, man. Keep it up. Big up from an Italian fan. Big up to you, Filippo. Yeah, I covered what I do in my life already. Life goals for me is just to, it may sound maybe cliche-ish again, but for me, it's just to always improve, always strive forward and just be a better person. One thing for me, I like seeing my friends do well. I like seeing my family do well, so I always push them. So yeah, that's that's maybe not life goals, but everyday goals. Become financially independent so I can use these freedom tokens to do whatever I want and experience whatever I want and give my friends and family whatever they want. I think that's a life goal for most people, to remain healthy. Well, that was it, man. Thank you for watching this video and thank you everyone that uh, submitted their Q&A questions. Thank you for supporting the channel so far. We've just hit three thousand subscribers which is crazy almost at 5k obviously at 5k i will be releasing a 5k freestyle and yeah keep a lookout for more content coming soon you know i'm dishing it to you on a daily basis at the moment it probably go into a more scheduled format in the future thank you for everyone's support so far make sure you smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe and until next time